welcome back to my channel and welcome today to my November favourites. Um, like, oh my god, where has the last month gone? It's December soon and it will be Christmas. I'm so excited. Um, I've got quite a few little things to show you today. Um, I've kind of like, the way I do this is like on my phone throughout the month, if anything like jumps out at me, I realise I'm saying like a lot, stop it. If anything jump out, jumps out at me um, that I particularly like the look of um, or I enjoy using, I just pop it into my no the notes on my phone so I build up a list over the month because otherwise trying to like get together stuff at the end of the month, uh, I just forget what I've done. <laughs> you know, I can't even remember like what happened yesterday, let alone remembering the whole month. So that's how I do it. So I've built up quite a little collection to show you this month. Some things I can't show you but I can tell you about. Um, so yeah, let's get started. The first thing that I have been loving in November is hand cream and in particular this one from Neutrogena. It's their Norwegian formula hand cream. It says it's concentrated. Instant relief of dry chapped hands, just a dab needed. Yeah, found out that the hard way. Put like a massive old blob on my hand and then <laughs> I just, I was just covered. Like it, it comes out like a gel and so you kind of think you're going to need a bit more and I put loads on and then when you start to rub it in it turns into a cream and my hands were just white and I could not get, they were just like a slippery mess. Um, so yeah, if you do use this, don't put too much on because you will regret it. Um, like, during the summer I've just been using whatever hand cream I had, like I've got a lot of gift sets and things for Christmas last year that had hand creams in them and I've been fine just using the ones that come with the gift sets. Um, but I found like, with the weather getting colder, those, uh, they just weren't doing anything for my hands. My hands were starting to get really dry, um, they were sort of chapping, um, they were sore, um, and it was, it, it was just horrible. Um, and my friend recommended this one to me. She recommended this and she recommended, I think it was E45, and I thought I'd give this one a try first. Um, and I really like it. it. It really does seem to be helping my hands. They don't feel as sore as they did. Um, they don't feel as dry as they did either. I just use it every night before I go to bed. And... Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I don't know how long it's going to last me because it's quite a small tub. You get 50 mils and it wasn't cheap, but if it does the job, then I'm happy. So, yeah, I'm liking that. What is next on my list? Let's have a look. Blanket wrap. Now, I've been wanting one of these for ages and I was like, do I buy one? Are they a kind of fad? And then I thought, do you know what, I'm just going to get one. I had a voucher for the new look and I like looked at this one, you can sort of see the material of it. It's sort of a tartany, sort of a blue based, blue and red based tartan. Um, and I'd been looking at it for ages and thinking, oh I really like it. Do you know what, I don't care what other people think, if I like it I'm going to wear it. Um, I actually wore it to college one day and a friend of mine came over to me and she was like, oh, she was like, I've been wanting to wear my one for ages but like no one else wears them and I've been really self-conscious about doing it but now that you've done it, I'm going to do it. So I was like, yeah, trendsetter. <laughs> no, not really, I'm, I'm not. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, basically it's just like a big old blanket that you put around you like this and kind of get your arms out, I don't know how much you can see, it, it's really good, like I love it for college because college is bloody freezing, like I don't know what's going on with the heating there but it's so cold, um, so I take it into college and I just sit in my lectures and like wrap myself up like a little bundle of joy and um, it keeps me nice and warm and I can like put my hands out the side to do my writing or whatever um, and yeah. I really love it and I don't know how much it was, it wasn't like horrendously expensive. It's got tassels on the bottom um, and it's just going to see me like right through the winter into like the spring when it starts to get a bit warmer, like you could wear like a short sleeve top underneath but just have this kind of keep you warm. Um, you know the only season that it's not going to be great for is summer and that's fine but um, yeah I will definitely be using this a lot and I have been using it a lot 
during the month of November. Um, they do other designs as well, I just happened to choose this one because I really like the tartan. Um, but you can get like grey, you can get black, all sorts. I was kind of tempted to get another one but no, we've got to save some money for Christmas. So there we go. Right, next up is something I've loved, loved, loved in November is having a bubble bath with my Lush stuff. Now obviously I can't show you a bubble bath with my Lush stuff in it because I'm not taking you in the bath with me. Um, but I'm sure you know you know what I'm talking about. And if you've not heard of Lush, just Google Lush. Um, like I can't imagine anyone would have not heard of Lush, but if you haven't, give them a Google. Uh, they are just the most amazing uh, seller of bath bombs, uh, bubble bars, all sorts of things. Um, and they're like completely ethical, animal friendly, whatever. Um, and they just do amazing stuff, especially around Christmas. If you like glitter and sparkles and bright colours, then you're like, you're going to love Lush. Um, the shop can be a little bit overwhelming um, because of all the smells. I personally quite like it. But uh, you can order online as well and they have really great customer service. Um, anyway, going back to my Lush baths, I just love to soak in the bath, um, pop my little bath bomb in, watch it fizz away. I don't know, that's the most exciting bit for me when it all starts fizzing and the water starts changing colour. Um, I love it. Um, funny story for you, I had a bath on when was it? Sunday. I did. I have had a bath since, don't worry. Um, I had a bath on Sunday and I thought, oh, oh you know, I've got a bit of time. I'm going to have a nice lush bath, chill out, relax a bit. I wasn't feeling that great. You know, it's a good way to cheer yourself up. Put what I thought was a bubble bar in my bath. It was a sort of bright pink colour in the shape of a fairy. If you are a big fan of lush, you'll know where this is going. Um, put this fairy in the bath and I was kind of like, oh, doesn't seem to be like fizzing away, bubbling, you know, how it should be. Went in and sort of felt it a bit more and I was like, I don't think this is a bubble bar. Uh, turns out it's a massage bar, I think, because it is full of like oily stuff. And oh my God, I have never seen so much mess. Like, be careful you don't put a massage bar in the bath. Uh, like it was bright pink bright pink was everywhere all over me i looked like a pink smurf um i was all slippery because it was all oily the bath is bright pink oh my god like i'm still covered in glitter now and finding glitter in places that you should not be finding glitter in um i won't be doing that again but you know we learn so <laughs> yes usually i enjoy my last bath, but that was a little bit hectic so next up on my favourites for November uh, is the Liz Earl, sorry I'm looking at my phone because that's where I've got the uh, the list otherwise I will forget because I'm so forgetful at the moment. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, the Liz Earl Hot Cloth Cl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. Um, I just love this stuff, it's great. Um, I don't know if I've got a dodgy bottle, but it's like not, like when I push it, it takes forever to get any of it out and it comes out in like spits and spats. So is that not like, tell me, is that normal or have I got a dodgy bottle? Um, but when it does come out, it's, it's love, it feels so nice on your skin. If you use the hot cloth with it, you don't have to use the hot cloth with it. I don't always if I haven't got time. Um, but it gives you like a really nice sort of clean, well, cleansed and polished um face if i don't know my skin just feels really nice after it it's got like quite a delicate scent um let's see what's it got in it so the naturally active ingredients are rosemary chamomile cocoa butter and eucalyptus essential oil cleanses and gently exfoliates for smoother clearer skin and yeah to be honest my, my skin has been pretty good recently when i since i've been using this um it's it's like it does so it's a two-phase process uh, phase one is cleansing where you massage it gently onto dry skin oh dry skin i've been putting it on my skin yeah should probably read this um over your eyes face and neck to purify soften and stimulate the circulation and then phase two is polishing you rinse they, they send they give you a cloth with it like a muslin cloth 
you rinse it in hot water and wring it out and then polish it off. I quite like to like get the, the cloth and like just drape it over my face and like, I don't know, like, I don't know what you'd call it. I guess it's kind of like steaming but not. Um, and then it says, finish by splashing your face with cool water. And I assume that's just to close the pores back up again because the hot, the heat, uh, the hotness, <laughs> the heat um, will open all your pores and you don't want them to stay open, otherwise they're gonna get clogged up again. So yeah, that's how you use it. I really like it. I've actually, uh, I've probably, I think I've nearly finished this bottle. Um, and I've actually bought num the number seven. Um, it's, it's the same kind of thing, but made by Boots number seven. Um, so I'll be interested to see what that's like compared to this and it's, it's sort of, it is a bit cheaper so, you know, let's see, it'll be interesting to see if that's just as good or whether I'll go back to this one again. Uh, the next thing that I have been loving, loving, loving this month is my electric blanket. Now I always thought electric blankets were just a bit of a fad you know I, I I don't know I never saw the appeal for quite a while I didn't mind getting into a cold bed and then making myself warm um because I don't like being too hot in bed because I just feel really uncomfortable and I can't sleep and I'll be like tossing and turning and then I don't know what changed my mind I decided I thought oh I'll try and get one because I yeah I've just been getting so cold in bed my feet were freezing I don't like wearing socks in bed so it's a bit of a dilemma there um, so I got one, when did I get it? I think I got it for Christmas last year and I can honestly say that I have never looked back. Um, it, I really love it, it's got like different heat settings so like if it's just a little bit chilly I might put it on number two, uh, if I'm freezing then I'll put it on number four. You can have it on either for an hour so you can warm the bed up like just before you get into bed at night and then it'll switch off or you can have it on for nine hours, my one anyway, like you can get different ones and they do different things. Um, so sometimes I'll keep it on all night, sometimes I'll just warm the bed up before I get in and then, you know, you kind of warm it up as you sleep anyway. Um, and I just really love it and I think it, does, I think it helps me sleep because I couldn't, if I'm too cold I can't get to sleep, if I'm too hot I can't get to sleep, you know, you can't win. But it doesn't make you as hot as I thought it would make you. Like I'm sure if you put it like on number five or whatever you'd probably be roasting but like if you just have it on like a medium setting it just like it just gives you enough warmth to kind of take that chill off that you get like when you first get into bed um, and like as it's getting colder I've just found it really really helpful so yeah I love my electric blanket now. What else have I been loving? Oh yeah <laughs> gingerbread lattes oh my god like I was so excited um, at college when I walked past the, uh, we've got a Starbucks at college and I walked past and they had like a sign up outside with all their Christmas drinks and I was like yes, love a bit of Christmas drink. Um, and they have four different ones at college, they've got the gingerbread latte which is probably my favourite, I do tend to have that one quite a lot. They do a toffee nut latte which again I quite like and it's, mm, it's quite a contender for first place with the gingerbread latte. They do a praline mocha which I wasn't, I don't know, it just tastes like a normal mocha to me maybe, I don't know. They use, in our college they use hazelnut syrup for it and I'm not sure if that's the right way to make it so I'd be interested to see what they do in like a normal Starbucks. And then there's an eggnog, la an eggnog latte which I haven't braved to try yet because I don't know what eggnog tastes like and I'm kind of worried that it will make me feel sick. I don't know, just the thought of eggnog. I don't know, it sounds weird. Like, I don't know, if you've tried one, tell me like what you think it's like because does it taste like egg? Like what does eggnog taste like? I should really just try one, but I don't know. I keep saying I don't know now. I don't know. Um, <laughs> just the thought of it doesn't really appeal, but I don't want to waste my money trying it and then not liking it, but then I might find that I love it and then I'll be missing out. So yeah, um, my favourite, mm, either the gingerbread latte or the toffee nut latte. I'm a bit disappointed that at our college they don't do the honey and almond hot chocolate 
that they do in regular Starbucks. I tried that when I went up to London for a hospital appointment and that is so good. Like I couldn't have the cream or anything because I have soya, but even without the cream, oh, it was amazing, seriously. If you like honey and almond, try it, it's amazing. <laughs> I think I've said amazing way too many times. Um, so yeah, I'm loving Christmas drinks in general. Uh, next, I have something to show you again after all that chatting. Uh, I have, what I've been really liking is this Tanya Burr uh, lip gloss. Whoa, don't know what's going on there, can't think of the right word. Yeah, Tanya Burr lip gloss. Um, I ordered the Naked palette from Feel Unique quite recently and I, th I saw that they had some Tanya Burr products on there as well and I thought I'd give one a try. Um, I decided to go for like this bright sparkly red colour, I don't know how well you can see it. Um, just because I wanted to try something that was a bit more out there, like I tend to go for pinks quite a lot. Um, and I thought, you know, it's a lip gloss so it's not going to be like bright red, which doesn't tend to suit me that well. Um, but I'm really, really impressed with this actually. The cut, like, I find a lot of lip glosses, like the colour doesn't really translate. Um, I've got a MAC one, I think I've probably showed it to you before, which is like bright pink glittery, but when you put it on it just looks a bit shimmery. Whereas this, you really get the red coming through with it, and it's not like it's like, it's not really an expensive one, you know, it was, I don't know, three or four pounds? I don't know, I can't remember, I'm not going to tell you how much it was because I'll get it wrong. Um, but, you know, it's not an expensive brand, but the colour is really good, and it stays on really well as well. Um, so yeah, I'm quite tempted to try some more Tanya Burr lip gloss products. Um, I know she does nail varnishes as well, I just have so many nail varnishes. If I buy any more, I think my mum will probably kill me. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite tempted to try another one of her lip glosses though, so watch this space. Uh, okay, talking of Christmas drinks, which I was just earlier, uh, my mum took me to Costa on Friday. And I love Costa's Christmas cups anyway. I think the Starbucks red cups are very classic, but you can't be like a cute little snowman or a reindeer. They've brought out an elf this year. Um, and I just, I love going in there. And like, even if I'm sitting in, which we did, I still ask for it in a takeaway cup just because I love the takeaway cups. And I was so excited when I went in there because they are now doing Christmas cups, ceramic, <laughs> um, and I just couldn't resist. I had actually seen them before I went in on someone's Instagram, and as soon as I saw them, that's why we ended up going to Costa, because I knew I had to buy some. Um, they're about £7 each, so I think that's fairly good. Like, I mean, it's a good quality ceramic mug with a lid, um, and yeah, don't judge me, I bought all four. So I've got a reindeer and a snowman, which I'm showing you now. The two that I haven't got with me are, there's uh, the elf and there's the Father Christmas as well. And I just think they're such nice keepsakes. Like, I can just, you know, pop some coffee or tea or hot Robina or whatever in one of these and take it to college with me or, you know, just have it around the house even. You know, you don't, you don't need to take it out. Why, why save it for that? You know, enjoy it at home. Um, I just love it, like the reindeer is so cute, like on the back it's got like a little tail and his little paws, what's his name I got on the back, just his little like mittens, um, and they're just, I think they're really nice, I love them, and now I can drink Christmas tea or coffee all year round if I wish, <laughs> so you know, that saved me from saving like the crappy, well it's not crappy because I like it, the um, you know, the cardboard cup and just using it over and over again at home, which I wouldn't do because it just wouldn't work. Um, so yeah, now I have four Christmas cups that I can enjoy my coffee out of. And now I'm dying and rolling off the bed. Um, what else have I been liking this November? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, the next thing I've got to show you are some Yankee Candles. Now I am a huge Yankee Candle fan, I'm just a huge candle fan in general. Um, I've always got candles burning in my room um, and if I, ho if I owned the house they would be burning everywhere because I love them so much. Um, and I especially love it when they bring out their Christmas scents. Um, 
so a few weeks ago I went shopping with one of my friends and she pushed me around in my wheelchair that was actually um if you saw my was it my last video I can't remember one of my videos about the bonfire night that's when we went shopping this is when I bought them so we went into the candle shop and I had a look at the Christmas scents and I've treated myself to four little votives uh I've got sugared apple which smells really good yeah you don't really want to watch me sniffing things here um I don't know if this is a Christmas one but I got wild fig which is really like fruity and it's kind of like a deep purpley colour I tend to go for the votives more just because I don't when you get the bigger candles you have to burn them for a certain amount of time otherwise you get like the dip in the middle and I just don't tend to have them burning that long because I'm constantly moving between different rooms and I don't like having them burning when I'm not there so I tend to find that the smaller ones just serve me better um, sometimes I'll get like the smallest glass jar ones they're not too bad but I just I can't I don't use the big ones because I can't burn them for long enough see so, yeah, a wild fig then I've got fireside treats which I love it's just like marshmallows I don't really want to burn it because it smells so good <laughs> But no, I will. I'm sure they'll bring it out again next year. And then I've got Candy Cane Lane, which, I don't know, I kind of expect it to be like um, sort of a pepperminty smell, but maybe, I don't know, I can't tell. But anyway, Candy Cane Lane, it smells nice and Christmassy as well. I'm not a big fan of like the cinnamon ones. I, I don't know, I've had a bad experience with cinnamon in the past and it just kind of puts me off now. Um, so I don't tend to go for the cinnamony ones but they've got quite a lot of other ones that are like Christmas wreath or Christmas Eve and things like that that are quite cinnamony and if you like that kind of thing obviously they're really great for Christmas um, and the last thing on my list that I'm going to share with you today is the Benefit Big Easy Liquid to Powder Multi Balancing Complexion Perfector basically well, it says it's bigger than BB, so is it a CC cream? I don't know. So I don't know. Some sort of foundation-y BB, CC, whatever cream. Um, it's not cheap, and I don't know whether I'm going to be able to repurchase it, which I'm really sad about, because it's my favourite. I really like it. it it does it sort of it goes on as liquid and then i suppose it changes to the powder and it make, it gives you quite a matte finish um it's 27 pounds 50 for how much you get in there 35 mils um i'll show you the tube so you can kind of see it's not huge but it, i mean it is lasting me quite a while and i've still got some left it's got spf 35 in there um oil free what else can i tell you about it this multi-balancing complexion perfector melts into skin like a cream yet finishes lightweight and smooth like a powder one and done big easy saves the day um i just find it really good you know it's not too heavy on my skin i don't really go for like really heavy coverage but it's enough coverage to give you a nice finish um, I put it on with a brush, you could quite easily put it on with your hands and just rub it in, whatever goes works for you best. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to like convince myself that I do want to use this. I don't know, maybe um, you could like give me, if you know of any dupes for it or something that's just as good um, that's maybe drugstore, I'd really like to hear it, but hear what you say because I'd be interested in trying something that's not quite so expensive but does the same job. Um, I don't know if there's anything out there or not, but you know, let me know if you know of something. So yeah, that's my uh, November favourites for you. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at what I've been liking this month. Uh, I'd love to hear about what you've been enjoying this month, so let me know in the comments below. Let me know of any videos you'd like to see, any questions you have. I will try and respond to you as soon as I can. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you see and would like to see more and i will see you again in my next video